Pennsylvania needs a constructive conversation about finding a balance between law enforcement and community relations. This hearing is part of that conversation as senators on the Judiciary and Law and Justice Committees question police about issues currently dividing some in law enforcement and the communities they serve. And what the world has seen from the George, from George Floyd, uh, is, was there an attempt to specifically show that video to your classes right now? And I think it would be irresponsible to wait for a tragedy to occur before it prompted us to initiate certain aspects of training. I'm not wearing a mask because we are social distancing. Police were also questioned about body cameras and why all officers aren't wearing them by now in Pennsylvania and why access to footage is limited. But it appears that we continue to be lagging in the use of body cameras. It is a fiscal issue. We fully supported the legislation. Our people rely on them to show that they're doing the right thing. Police estimate $50 million is needed to fully implement body cameras over several years. Access to footage has also been an issue with privacy concerns blocking its release in some instances. But law enforcement believes this oversight tool will become commonplace soon. As my prediction would, would be that it will be as um, ubiquitous as, as red and blue lights. Barbara Barr, WGAL News 8.